Hi everybody, how are you? I'm pre-showing you uh, my finished piece here so you know where we're heading. I don't know why some footage got lost, but, but it did. I don't know where it went. But basically I did two coats of flesh tone and then I started sketching in eyes. I lost the footage to the nose and the lips. But they're not even done anyway, so you guys will see me finish them up. Um, you'll see me using a paint bottle to somewhat get me an idea of the shape of the eye that I want. And it worked out well. I was on Skype um, chatting away. It took me oh, four hours to, to complete the whole face. And uh, I sped speeding through right now for you guys. And you'll be here for 22 minutes. I hope you'll be here for 22 minutes. I'm basically teaching myself shading, teaching myself eye shapes, teaching myself a mixture of faces that have been inspired by many, many, many people. Many, many people. And lots and lots of galleries here in my, pl in my town. I don't have a ruler next to me. I usually never have a ruler next to me. Like, I despise rulers. But I think me and the ruler need to become friends pretty soon. So I ended up using just a canvas. And then sometimes I just use my fingers depending on the width of my fingers. Uh, there goes the canvas again. Which I have a video coming up because I, I ended up playing on that canvas. And it came out so cute. I'll be releasing that maybe in two weeks. You know, I have a favor to ask you guys. Can you guys please share my videos? And um, I love you hearing you guys' comments, stories. Even if it has nothing to do with the video. You know, co positive feedback. I enjoy reading. Um, just sketching in some eye shapes. I know they're not perfect, but... You know, it's a whimsical doll. And I like her. I really do. And I hope you guys enjoy Um, yes, please share my videos all over, everywhere, with your friends and families and Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you possibly can. Uh, there's a ruler. I do not know how to use this thing. I know how to use it when I'm using it in jewelry or piercing, you know, ear piercing, body piercing. But I don't know how to use it the proper way, um measuring on paper and stuff but um yeah I know how to use it as far as for measuring gauges on wire let's see what are we doing secret <laughs> I gave up on the ruler then I wanted to go back to it but then I gave up on it again I'm telling you we're I, eventually we'll become friends but right now we're not friends Um, right here you'll see me using Faber-Castell, I think it's uh, called Nude. It's a water-soluble crayon. And that Crayola is a water-soluble Crayola, and they suck. I've used it over gesso, I've used it without gesso, they suck. They're not even worth, they're not worth it, they're really not. And yes, I'm shading, I may be shading in the wrong spots, but at the end of the end of the end, which you guys already seen, the end process, the end project. I like the way it came out. I really do. I don't think that I want to find the proper shadings. That's what makes art fun, interesting, and very surprising when you come out in the end and go, Wow, that's something I want to put on my wall. Or when you have friends that admire your work. And then they ask you, well, how do you shade? Well, I don't know. I just do what I got to do. I, I keep giving it a go with those Crayolas. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't buy Crayolas. Unless I'm using them wrong. I could be. Right there, I'm using the Coral Blush for the cheeks. Watering it down, and I still have too much on the brush, so I end up putting it on the side. 
of the and as a matter of fact I'm not working on canvas I'm working on a scrap piece of wood I don't have any canvas available so I use what I can cardboard wood I particularly like the wood I really do like the wood and there we're just shading and titanium white and you know how I like putting color down on my drop paper and we're just gonna put one layer of titanium white on the eyeball so whatever color I do choose to put the eyeball in the color pops extra white seems to do that for me and then I run it down the nose and I think I rub it with my hand yeah and I picked up a technique, um, dry brushing, where you, your brush is right there. See, your brush is dry and you run it everywhere and it blends out your color really nice. I've teaching myself that technique. I haven't caught on to it perfectly. And right there I'm using Steel Gray. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Steel Gray by Americana Multi-Surface Satin. And I'm doing the eyebrows, which... I'm getting really good at the eyebrows. I'm enjoying them. Unfortunately, at the end, you don't see the eyebrows. But still, it's good practice. Um, I had to lift the, the piece of wood because um, the lighting is terrible. I broke, my, I broke my lamp. So I'm working with some, some other lamp that I'm not used to. I better get used to working with the, the new lamp. It's not new. It's an old lamp that I have never used. It's going to be here a while until I'm able to replace the lamp I broke. Um, so yeah, uh, eyebrows take time. Have some water on your brush so that when you do, if you do, like I do, mess up, you can wipe away. You'll see me. Yeah, see, I'm wipe, wipe, wipe. Secret messed up. Messed up again. Wipe, wipe, wipe. But that's okay. Teach, teach, teach. Practice, practice. Play, play, play. I hope I'm not too loud. I, I'm using my camcorder for a voiceover. And I have my mouth right on the speaker. I'm putting gray in the part where people normally put white. I find that I like putting colors that shouldn't go in places. <laughs> I, I'm liking it. And while I'm painting here, I'm actually well accompanied. Very well accompanied. There's, there's a whole party going on. I have this whole video on mute and on speed, but we had a whole party going on on Skype. It was Maricha, which is the Junkin Data Girl here on YouTube. Mark Muir, which is Mark Muir here on YouTube and we had John Cooney Cinnamon Cooney's husband and we had Cinnamon on there um, myself and we were just partying away for hours why did we go black here uh oh I think I lost footage let's see if it comes back huh I'm did we come? Yeah, we came back. I had lost footage for a second there. Don't know why. I don't think you guys seen that, but I did. And if you do, I'm sorry. It comes right back. And I'm using white just for highlights. Something I like doing. Don't know if it's a good practice, but I like it and it makes me happy. And that's what this is all about. And I'm using white under the eyes, in the eyes, in the forehead, around the cheeks, up on the upper lip. Everything I have been doing has made me very happy. The end result I'm really, really enjoying. Pretty soon, I want to do faces like odd colors, like a green face and a purple face. Where'd I go? I think I think the party got kind of live. 
and I disappeared for a second. Or I was looking for colors. Pearl, this pearlized color, the pearl something. Let's see if I can find it. Pearlizing medium. I love this stuff. You can mix it with colors. I had no clue. But even by itself, I love it. And that blue there that I'm using over the eyes is Robin Egg Blue. And that was sent over in Happy Mail from Lori B. Hi Lori B if you're watching. Um, it does end up getting covered. I do end up covering it, although I love it. It kind of um, was messing with my eyes. And I put it in the cheeks, and I love the way that came out on the cheeks. Put it on the neck. And that one there that you're just seeing is Pistachio Mint. Or Waterfront. I kind of think it's the Pistachio Mint. Or Bahama Blue. I'm not sure. I can't tell from my screen. But those are the greens that I have next to me. So it has to be one of those. Hmm, that looks... That does look like Pistachio Mint. Which is a beautiful color. And I'm going in with the hair with the fan brush. And you know me and hair, we, we keep messing. We keep messing with the hair. It was cute right there, but we keep messing. I basically don't stop until, until, until I'm really happy and until the piece, my art piece says, you're done, secret. This is good. This is perfect. Leave it alone. And steel gray again and I kind of put some in the hair and that is a fine liner brush I'm still here I'm watching the video as I voice over it's really fun to watch yourself. It's actually inspiring to watch yourself. And that is a coral blue Fabric Castell water soluble crayon. For some reason it's coming off violet. Actually, you know what? I think it's the violet one. It's not the coral blue. It's the violet one. The eyes go through so many changes also. They sure do. I kind of would have been happy right there too. Probably do like the way she looks there. Now that I'm watching the video with you guys. I put it in the neck because it was on my brush. And I love the way it looks like that. And we're going to come in with the... I think that's the pearl. Yeah, it sure is. It's the pearl one. The pearlescent one. And we went black again. I'm wondering if you guys are seeing it go black. I think you guys are. You're going to have to excuse me. I don't want to edit the video again. I think that every time um, it goes into a new chapter, because I have to stop the camera, restart the camera, and wait for paint to dry, and all the process that us YouTubers and creators do, I think that it's going to go black for a second and then it'll come right back up. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually because I'm teaching myself. Marita's helping me, the Junkin Data Girl. She's also got her stuff to do. But I'm trying my best to teach myself. So I, I'll figure out what's going on with the screen going black. I think uh, it has something to do with fading. I didn't fade the screens together, but we'll learn. And again, I'm here um, putting, let's see, what am I doing? I am putting some umber, some white. Yeah. Yeah, some 
and some cocoa cocoa bean Americana and all the products except for the Faber Castells are Americana and just doing some wispies and playing with the eyebrows again I'm putting the brown cocoa under the eyes, down the nose, the bridge of the nose, and in the nostrils, and there was a hair in the brush. Pulled it out. We got it out. We might go black again for a second, because uh, I did stop the video and waited for paint to dry. Do you guys see the little fruit bug flying around? <laughs> Could be an ant. Might be an ant. I don't know. And we start playing with the lips. And for the lips, I am using. Mm, don't know what I'm using. Some some violet color. Then we're gonna go in the gray, the gray part under the eyes. I don't know what it's called. And we're gonna put that cocoa brown underneath. And love that gold. Emerald gold. Really like that gold. Wonder if they still even sell it. Imperior's gold. And then we're coming back in with this pistachio again. And in the eyes I missed what color I used. And that purple there is Wisteria. And then we're going in with mixed media fluid acrylic in brown. And burnt sienna. And then we're going to get the um, titanium white deco arts and go into the hair again. All of these steps are so worth it for me. I have fun doing it. And you can see my laptop <laughs> messing around on Skype, showing them my painting. Which I probably could have picked up the painting. But oh well. Yes, all the steps that I do with the hair, I'm... I'm fine with. I'm really liking. And I did put some of the titanium white in the eyes, doing some more wispies. Yeah, it was the purple. Then I'm grabbing pink tropics for the lips. And that is Deco Arts. And I am really like the lips. really like it all. Then I'm going in with some black. And that is black tie Americana. And then I'm using my Uniball to outline, to go into the eyebrows, outline the iris, the eyeballs, the eyelids, everything. Everything, everything, everything. And then doing the dots that I like to do for the eyelashes. And I thought I was going to do a unicorn, but I end up doing a gypsy headpiece. Very bohemian gypsy. I think I will name her that and so I ended up doing a moon in the imperial gold and then I do a chain link which is 
quite simple to do, especially after being a jeweler for oh, 18, 19 years. And I just start shading in, painting in, and putting the gold in the eyes. I really enjoy putting gold in the eyes. And then I grab a very hot pink, and that hot pink, I'm doing dots as if we were hanging per, um, beads from the gypsy headpiece. And that color is just called neon, and it's a neon pink. Then I come in with my pen, and I start giving details in the chain. And since the eyes are dry, I go in and try my best to make them as similar as possible. That's right here is where I changed the blue eye shadow. And instead I did a ballerina color. And that's the color. It's called ballerina in the eyes. It kind of soothes her down some. And I put it in the lips also. I really like that ballerina color. Then I decide I'm going to get some glue, and it's a mixture of decoupage and white school glue, and I put the glamour dust. Everywhere that glue landed, the glamour dust landed. Oh, and I love it. I love, love, love it. And of course I'm saving whatever I can. And then I put some up above the lip, and I love it. And I'm doing the little dots on the eyes. You know, once I have some certain color on my brush, I put it everywhere. And I'm doing highlights. Oh, if you guys can see this painting in real life, it's gorgeous. She needs a name if you guys want to name her. Uh, three minutes left. I end up putting some glamour dust also on the moon and oh, so happy I did. Then I have a gel pin to outline the lips. And here we go with the eyelashes. Hope you guys enjoy. I enjoy creating and playing in my art studio. I encourage you guys to play no matter where it is, an art studio, the kitchen table, living room, couch, bed. Play, 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 play with your colors. Send me photos. Even leave me a comment that you played. And we're coming to an end. We have, what, uh, two minutes left? Maybe less than two minutes? And I'm just giving details to the eyes. And never be afraid to move your canvas around. I really enjoyed her. Don't forget to thumbs me up. YouTube will notice, notice me a little bit more and comment because I love reading your guys' comments. They're very encouraging. They're very inspiring and that's why I'm still here. I'm coming along two years. As a matter of fact, I might be starting a second channel but that'll be a second channel in bilingual uh, Spanglish. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll let you know updates on the second channel as soon as I figure it out. Hope you enjoy and here comes a sneak peek. Well not a sneak peek. A slow down. I slow it down so that you guys can see it. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun and share, share, share.